Today we're talking about data analyst resumes for people that are transitioning into data analytics careers. Specifically, if you have experience but it's not necessarily as a data analyst, we're going to look at how to talk about that experience on your resume. If you've just graduated or you're watching this video because you're writing a resume for when you graduate from college, I've linked to another video that I talked about a few weeks ago where I focused specifically on analytics resumes for new graduates. If you have work experience but not as a data analyst, stick around to find out how to talk about that great experience you have on your data analyst resume. If we haven't met before, I'm Jen. I have over 15 years of experience as a data analyst and a hiring manager of data analysts and data scientists. I love talking about analytics and I want to help as many people as possible get into great analytics careers. When it comes to writing a data analyst resume, or any resume for that matter, there are two key pieces what you communicate and how you communicate it. We're gonna look at both of those pieces in this video. Let's start out by talking about what your data analyst resume should include, and then we'll talk a little bit about how to communicate it effectively. There are four key things that every data analyst resume should feature. In terms of skills, you'll wanna talk about math or statistical skills that you have. You'll wanna talk about any programming languages that you know or you're familiar with. You'll want to speak about your data visualization skills and again, tool experience. And you'll want to talk about your communication skills. Though this last one, we're going to do a bit indirectly by how we communicate the rest of the information. For a deep dive on all of these skills and a lot more specific information, as well as resources to build all of them, check out my guide, How to Become a Data Analyst. It's linked in the description. Now let's talk about how you effectively communicate your skills and experience on your resume. There are certain things that I, and any other hiring manager are looking for on your data analyst resume. I want to see your data analyst skills in your work experience. This is perfect since you have work experience, but it's maybe not specifically analytics. Chances are you came to the conclusion that you wanted to get into data analytics because you've liked analytical aspects of past jobs or hobbies that you've had. Talk about how you've applied analytics skills in those past roles, even when they're not data analyst specific. So for instance, if you're in purchasing, you've probably done a lot of analytics work looking at raw material prices and future projections for prices and negotiating contracts and pricing structures. So talk about that when you write about your purchasing experience. If you're in marketing, you're looking at the effectiveness of marketing campaigns. You're looking at, is it better if we go with a blue or a red color? How much green do we add? What words do we use that encourage people to buy? All of these things are analytics, even if they're not what we typically think of as a data analyst specifically doing. You have the advantage of having this work experience. Those business application skills are invaluable to future employers because you not only understand the math and the science behind it, you understand how to make that meaningful for a business and to have impact you likely also can put a measurement on how much value you added by being able to do that work. Speaking of that business application, write in business terms. Don't feel like your data analyst resume is inferior because you're not talking in technical terms. Chances are the HR person, the recruiter, in many cases the hiring manager that's reading your resume, doesn't have a lot of data analyst experience, so being able to talk in business terms helps make the connection for them about the skills you're bringing to the table and how you're adding value to the company by doing that. Your data analyst resume should talk about how you're going to help me and my business if I would hire you. This doesn't mean saying, here's how I'd help you. It means looking at the job description, understanding what's needed, and writing about that in your resume. Talking about the skills that I, as an employer or a company, am saying that I want, 
and that you have and that you offer. Talk about those skills. Highlight how your experience or knowledge in a specific company or industry are going to help me as an employer. If you have a background in marketing, consider marketing data analyst roles. This is a perfect fit. You have a lot of industry experience and knowledge that is going to take someone new to the field a long time to learn. And that gives you some subject matter expertise as well as the data analyst skills that you're building or have already built that you bring to the table. When you're ready to write your data analyst resume in depth, check out my training course on how to write a data analyst resume. It goes specifically through an actual data analyst job posting and picks out the pieces that are important and I show you exactly how I would write my resume to match with that data analyst job posting to have the highest chances of getting an interview and getting the job. You'll find it linked below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content on data analysts and data analytics careers.